Kevin Chicken Butt Cash is being chased by a beer fueled mob. Yeah, luckily I've run this quite a bit. He has a 10 minute head start on his pursuers, but he often drops flowers so they can track him. He's the hare or rabbit leading the Peach Fuzz Hash House Harriers on a run through an Augusta Park. It's trail running. Um, and then, then again, you're going to cut through where it gets a little bit thicker to where you have to kind of weave your way through the briars and, and sticks and all that fun stuff trying to get through to find trail. Struggling through briars and brush is part of the appeal. Yeah, um, getting cut, getting, <laughs> getting poison ivy. I mean, that, to that's climb all, up and down ravines. That's all part of it. At two spots on this afternoon's three mile run, the hashers catch the hare for a brief pit stop where they rehydrate with beer. We generally provide beer and water. If it's a stop at a bar, that's, you know, it's wide open, whatever. They call their group a drinking club with a running problem, and the pace today was leisurely. Everybody's a little bit different, but it's, it's quite social. A lot of us will walk together in, a, in small groups and chat about different things. Hashing started in 1938 in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and there are now almost 18,000 members in 178 countries, according to the World Hash House Harriers homepage. Started in the restaurant, they would run, and they would yeah. finish in the restaurant, they would drink. They were drinking anyway. So. The Hare and the Hounds, it's a British children's game, and they, yeah, they modified they it to uh, include uh, beer. Police are called constantly because they don't know what we are, what we're doing. But the biggest thing is the anthrax and the cocaine. People come up to us, um, is, this is a game, right? Because there's some kids saying that you're throwing cocaine down. Those problems were caused by the flour, chalk, or other biodegradable substances used to mark the trail. And I would think by now that, because it is international, more people would have heard about it. So I'm surprised. Our, our 100th run, we had, what, 40, 50 people with togas downtown, and not a word was said. Nothing. Hashers value anonymity and use nicknames for each other. Three of this afternoon's six hashers declined to be identified on camera. The group also has its own customs and language. Throughout the run, hashers sing body drinking songs. Turn the camera off for the songs because you won't be able to use any of it. No. When it's this time, time in Georgia, Georgia. Family can't be beat. Drink now, 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 now. The group says it takes precautions about drinking alcohol. Yes, you, have, you to have, have to You drink sensibly, you have to have somebody responsible. That's uh, nuts. We do stop people if they've been drinking too All much right. or been doing something. We make sure that they stop. Somebody, that's why we encourage everyone like eating and taking time before they ever get back in the car. So everybody's covered that. Hundreds of different runners have joined the club since it started in 2000. Uh, eight, eight former athletes, no, current I mean. drinkers, got together in uh, an in English pub uh -huh. and created the uh, hash as you see it. Highlander. Highlander, Highlander pub. Yeah. We've done charity events together, um, some official for the club, some not official for the club. We just, you know, when we do something, we just, our hashers that we club with are our friends. So.